Five home remedies for cleaning your Chuck Taylor's rubber. Let's go, number one. Nail polish remover and a cotton wool ball. I think I should point out that uh, if you are a guy, you might have to borrow a nail polish remover. I found this under the sink in my apartment. Uh, people have been living in that apartment for decades, but it turns out that this product doesn't actually expire. It has an indefinite shelf life. You want a nail polish remover with plenty of acetone in it, which is a highly volatile liquid with uh, that's a little bit flammable and also is good at stripping stuff off your nails, I guess, and also, so they say, rubber off of your Chuck Taylors. So let's try this out. Should have brought more than one cotton wool ball. So I am just learning about how to use a nail polish remover. It turns out, A, you do wanna make sure that this is acetone. It has acetone in it. That's like the uh, the flammable, stinky stuff that nail polish remover is known for. Uh, the second thing you wanna point out is you don't wanna use the purple kind of nail polish remover. Uh, and the other thing is that instead of just putting it on a cotton wool ball and then like immediately rubbing it into the rubber, it's a good idea to apply some nail polish remover onto it, then letting it sit for a few minutes uh, so that it can like sort of eat into the dirt. So I'm doing that right now. All right, it's pretty white, I gotta say. There are still like some very sort of light old stains like left there, if you really punch in close you can see. I have been doing everything from uh, just rubbing it with the cotton wool ball to like leaving the cotton wool ball on there full of the nail polish remover so that it doesn't evaporate as fast. The second home remedy for cleaning Chuck Taylor's is baking soda and vinegar, an old classic. I've actually got Chuck 2's here. This is an ill-fated sequel to the original Chuck Taylor that I bought as soon as it came out. And within two years, maybe even within one year, uh, it was off the market because people didn't like them that much. But I did wear them hard, same rubber. So let's see how we go. The idea here is to go uh, two parts baking soda to three parts vinegar. And it's really important to note that you don't wanna use a metal bowl or a metal spoon to mix it up because uh, the metal reacts with the, uh, with the baking soda and the vinegar and it sort of like, yeah, makes it less effective. So. So the deal with this is that the baking soda is uh, it's a bit abrasive because it's still sort of like powdery. Um, and so that helps to enhance the cleaning properties. All right, baking soda and vinegar. I'd say this did the trick. This is, this is pretty interesting. But what I really wanna know is, is gonna be better than using actual laundry detergent. All right, so with this method of cleaning your Chuck Taylors, uh, these are really old, by the way. These are very torn up. I really only use these for uh, lifting weights these days. <laughs> um, they're completely destroyed. And also, uh, I did a video uh, a little while ago on how to, just a general review of Chuck Taylors, during which I used the baking soda and vinegar method of cleaning them, and I only cleaned one of them. So right now, these are not an even level of dirt. But just to make it fair, I'm going to be using this method to clean the extra dirty shoe to see how we wind up. The idea here, there's not a specific amount uh, you're meant to be using. The idea is A, you have to be using um, laundry detergent in a powdered form. You're meant to be mixing it with warm water to make a paste of sorts. Um, so it's really just you have to use enough of it to make a paste. The reason why you're using powder instead of liquid is so that you can, so that it's more abrasive, so that it'll, it'll scrub into it a bit more easily. All right, let's see how we go. Remember, warm water, because that's what makes it easy to clean stuff. All right, for a second there, I was worried that I was supposed to only be using a uh, powdered laundry detergent to clean the canvas. Now, like, I misread stuff online, but mixing up the detergent with some water made it look pretty good. Yeah, so there you go. That's another one. Laundry detergent and water into a rough paste. That's a good way to get the uh, whites of your shoes clean as well. Next up is the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. The shoes I'm actually doing here, they're actually not Converse, uh, Converse All Stars. These are the shoes from Nothing New. They make pretty similar looking shoes, but they're made out of uh, completely recycled materials, right? Like, so the, the canvas here is actually made of recycled plastic bags and stuff like that. I got a video comparing these and Chuck Taylor's up there somewhere, if you wanna check them out. But cleaning the rubber, pretty much the same thing. So let's see how the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser goes on this.
that looks pretty damn good as well. Um, I should note that this became a lot easier once I added a little bit of water on the top of the uh, rubber as well, and then use the uh, magic eraser over the top of that. So if you're struggling at first, um, that really helped here. And now we've got, yeah, pretty clean rubber. All right, the last home remedy for cleaning your Chuck Taylors is the weirdest one that I found online, which is non-gel white toothpaste and regular old hand soap. So um, mix these together, see what happens. Okay, I know this is my least dirty pair of chucks, but nonetheless, I think this might have been the most effective method that we've tried today. Uh, this is very, very white. I'm really surprised that that was just like a random amount, like roughly equal amount of toothpaste um, and a little bit less hand soap than toothpaste actually. Um, and that's got me these nice white sneakers. All right, those are some uh, five pretty surprising ways to uh, clean your Chuck Taylors at home. I gotta say, out of the five, uh, the toothpaste seems to have done the best job. The toothpaste and hand soap. This is extra whitening Sensodyne toothpaste, if you know the actual brand. Uh, I've gotta just sort of assume that the extra whitening aspect also helps it out. Um, I put a little bit of uh, toothpaste also on these baking soda vinegar shoes as well, and it improved them um, pretty considerably as well. However, I would say that's probably the most expensive version, uh, you know, version of home cleaning to do. So I would probably just say, if you've got a Mr. Clean Magic Eraser lying around, I would say any of these other methods with uh, finishing off with the Mr. Clean Magic Eraser to get, off, get rid of any extra little stains, that's probably the best bet. So I would say any of these plus Mr. Clean Eraser is gonna do the job. Um, if you don't have one of those and you don't have much of anything else, uh, yeah, if you have this high quality bit of toothpaste, that's, that's definitely one of the best ways to do it. All right, whenever you are ready. Okay. Okay, here we go. You ready? I'm ready for one minute and seven seconds. <laughs>